My presentation will be about Tanzania, Africa's best safari destination. I would like to challenge you with a few questions. Did you know that Tanzania is the largest country in East Africa? That it has a population of 47.78 million people? That our national languages are Kiswahili and English? And that we have 120 ethnic groups, uh, all have, which have diverse language and culture, but who speak one language, the, the Swahili? Tanzania is also home to three out of seven natural wonders of Africa, seven UNESCO World Heritage Sites. It is also home to the roof of Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro, and also the largest and deepest lakes in Africa. Tanzania is also home to the world's greatest animal migration, which happens only in the Serengeti. We also boost up having the largest game reserve, which is Selu Game Reserve. And of course, as the gentleman said, Tanzania is not Tanzania without Zanzibar, the spice islands of Zanzibar and Pemba. We also boost up having the highest points and the deepest points in Africa, the highest being Mount Kilimanjaro and the lowest being Lake Tanganyika. Now let me tell you a little bit more about the tourism sector in Tanzania. In Tanzania, the tourism sector is the largest foreign exchange earner. It accounts about for about 17.2 of the GDP and is one of the biggest contributors to the economy. In 2014, we received 1.8 million euros and tourists who come to Tanzania usually spend the average of 10 to 11 days. When they come to Tanzania, they usually spend approximately $277 per day. As the presenter said, our policy is not about numbers, but about the experience that the tourist gets while in Tanzania. That's why our policy advocates on low volume, but high yield. We want tourists who come to Tanzania to spend longer time and also to spend more money. When they come to Tanzania, we want them to make sure that they leave the dollars behind. Um, as you see, tourist arrivals have been increasing over the years. In 20, oh, 20, 2003, we only had 576,000 tourists. 2014, we had more than one million. Our, as I said, the policy is not about getting a lot of tourists, but giving them the best experience. Our top 10 markets are the USA, UK, Germany, Italy, France, India, the Netherlands, China, Canada, and Australia. Germans are one of our best tourist markets because we believe when they come to Tanzania, they spend 15 days showing that Tanzania is home to the German market. Over the years, Tanzania has been, has been able to get a number of accolades, being named as the eighth country out of 20 most beautiful countries in the world, been voted as Africa's best safari country, mentioned as one of the best places to travel to, the best des African destination to visit by Fox News, one of the top five world's most stunningly beautiful countries to visit, and of course, Mount Kilimanjaro and Serengeti were named the greatest parks in the world by the National Geographic. Now that's in, in German, don't ask me what that is, because I won't be able to tell you, but I do believe that it says that that you are warmly welcome to Tanzania, home away from home. Now I'm going to take it on a 360 degrees visit to Tanzania. The East Africa part in particular, and that is Tanzania for you.
Right. Now, I, on our, on taking you on a 360 degree visit to Tanzania, the best parks where everybody goes to for the first time visitors to Tanzania are the, no the parks which are located on the northern part of Tanzania. That is where you find the famous Serengeti where the migration takes place, um, the Ngorongoro, where, which is the eighth wonder of the world, and also uh, not very far by is where the first man made his first steps. Now those are some of the attractions which are found in the Northern Tourist Circuit. I'm going to show you just some images of what you will miss if you don't come to Tanzania. That's Mount Kilimanjaro. And that's of course, the, that's the migration with that we boast so much of us. Now further south to the north, that area is called the Southern Tourist Circuit. You also found the Selu, which is the largest game reserve in the world. But you also find other uh, smaller parks, Mikumi and Uzungwa, all boasting of their own attractions. The Southern Tur Circuit has Ruaha, which is the second largest national park in Africa. The Selu, the greatest uh, game reserve in the world. Mikumi and Kitulo and Uzungwa. Some pictures of Ruaha. That is Gombe. We also boast of having some of Africa's best islands. We have Zanzibar, the famous Zanzibar, which is known for its spices and history. Pemba, Mnemba Island, another island next to Zanzibar. Mafia Island, no connection to the Mafia of, of, Itali of Italy, but <laughs> connected to Tanzania. A very nice place for people who love to do water sports. We also have Ru Fanjovi, Rubondo, and Sanane. And that is Zanzibar. That is Mnemba. That's Fanjove, the white sandy, be unpolluted beaches, paradise. That's what you'll miss if you don't come to Tanzania. Tanzania is also known for its history. As I said, the first man is said to have found, to be born and made his first steps in Tanzania. We also have Laitoli, uh, who are, who, uh, who are, which are trails of more than 306 million years. We have Kondoa, where there are paintings of more, more than 5,000 years. We boast of having 120 tribes, all speaking their own languages, but said to be one of the most friendly people in Africa. We also have a place called Tendaguru, where the remains of the largest dinosaur on Earth is found. And I'm told that our Tendaguru is in Berlin here. So if you have time, you can go to the museum and see Tendaguru, who is from Tanzania. We also have Amboni Caves, which are more than 150 years. Now, the activities that can be done in Tanzania are many from gay viewing, viewing, to mountain climbing, to walking safaris, to canoeing, to volunteerism, sports fishing, diving, festivals, beach holidays, golf, culture tourism, special interests, balloon safaris, and many more. That's volunteer tourism. We also boost of having culture tourism programs, more than 60 all over the country, where the tourists is given the experience of living with the locals and coming to, and the contribution that they make is used to develop certain projects within the local communities. Mountain climbing, canoeing, snorkeling, and of course, ladies, if you love jewelry, Tanzania is the place that you need to go. The only place on earth where you can find the Tanzanite stone is in Tanzania. So those of you who are planning to get engaged, make sure that you tell your fiance to go to Tanzania and buy you the rock. We also boast of having the, the biggest fish in, in Africa. This is just one of the fish which is found in Tanzania. We also have fairs and festivals. Some of them uh, like Swahili International Expo in Dar es Salaam. We also have the Karibu Fair, Kili Fair, Sauti Abusara, and many more. Mm -hmm. 
Now, if you come to Tanzania, don't worry. We have accommodation to suit every type of tourist, from the very exclusive accommodation facilities to the very simple and basic for the, back, the back, uh, budget traveler. These are just some of the establishments that are in Tanzania. Last but not least, I'd like to thank you for listening to my presentation. And before I go, I'd like to tell, teach you a little bit of Swahili words. Karibu Tanzania, the land of Kilimanjaro, Zanzibar, and the Serengeti. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, too. I would like to invite you to stay on the stage for a while because we'd like to open the floor uh, for uh, questions and comments from our own audience. Thank you. Please. How many of you already have been in this country? No one. No one. No one. Oh. <laughs> you have been? Great. Well, I've been there. Um, thank you for the presentation. Um, thank you. I also enjoyed it very much. I grew up in Kenya, in Nairobi. Um, well, I have actually a few questions, um, more or less, um, not in terms of tourism, but I just wanted to know what Tanzania, for example, is doing uh, to invest in its youth and, and create a sustainable future for, for its country. What are we doing to invest in our youth? Yeah. Not only in terms of economic um, opportunities for the youth, but also in terms of um, creating a, a platform for the youth to spread its voice and its cultural um, ideas. Because I think that the youth is, in any country, is the future, and it's definitely something that um, I think developing countries also have to look into. I think the youth in Tanzania have a voice. We have a ministry um, dedicated only for the youth. There are different platforms that the youth in Tanzania use. Um, if you look at the tourism sector, we work very close, closely with youth associations and universities. Um, I'm patron of a, of a number of, of university um, uh, uh, groups who, who deal with uh, tourism. Um, they also have representation in the parliament and that's where their voice is heard. Can you maybe tell us what, um, how the, the voice is spread around the world and not just in Tanzania or not even just in East Africa, but really around the world? The youth, in, through their various platforms, participate in, in a number of, of international um, uh, forums. Um, we have representatives from the youth uh, from the parliament who participate in the UN Forum for Youth and other platforms. Hello, uh, hello Freddy Gallman, I'm German, um, but I just wanted to add to the conversation, <clears throat> I'm sorry my voice is still bad, um, add to the conversation because I work with the German Chamber of Commerce and in Kenya and we also had a lot of um, projects in Tanzania. And regarding to your question, so what I found in Tanzania is that the government is supporting um, the youth, especially in the technology sector, very well. They have a couple of um, like spin-off facilities where you can just go uh, with an idea and you get supported by a team um, from the government. You also get funding um, if the idea is good and they take you through the whole process and so that you can build a startup there. So um, the whole startup industry, which we see in the, in the Western world, um, also applies to some of the Eastern countries uh, in Africa. And I think um, they have a lot of good projects uh, in Tanzania regarding this. Final chance again for comments from. Okay, thank you very much, dear madam. 
Your Excellency, for coming and being here today with us, presenting your wonderful country. I believe that all of you, all of us now uh, really uh, hope and uh, would like to visit Tanzania. Thank you very much. Please join me in a sincere gratitude to our guests from Tanzania.